Hey guys, Fish Sake Monsters here, and uh, been gone for a while. Had a lot of personal stuff going on in my life, taking care of a sick parent is uh, one time consuming and two very very hard to uh, to go through. So um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the 220. As you guys can see, I clearly got new fish. And um, this entire tank is stocked by dun, 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 predatory fish. Love that place. The owners are amazing. Everybody at Predatory Fins are just awesome people. But I uh, got these lemon Oscars for them. They're doing fantastic. Got a Calberry. Peacock bass, a couple of albino tiger um, Oscars. I got, I believe, three albino silvers. I got one regular silver. I got a golden sailfin, who's an awesome cleanup crew, by the way, you guys. As he gets older, the black will fade. Eventually, he'll hit about 18, 20 inches and be that beautiful golden color. He's transitioning. He's called phase one right now. I think when I bought him, he was like one, like one, one point five, I believe. Um, I also got. I don't know if I can get it because he hides in the tall grass. But oh, hello. There he is. Love these guys so much. Uh, right back in there, if the arrows will allow me. Uh, oh no, glare. Let me see what I can do about this glare. Let's see here. I don't know, guys. There's a Cuban. There's a Cuban gar in there. There he is. Not a very good. Not a very good picture of him at all. But, uh, I mean, he's growing like crazy. Beautiful, beautiful gar. Absolutely love that gar. But once he gets a little bigger, I'll, uh, I'll try and get you a better, a better video of him. But, uh, that's the stock of the tank. Oh, I also forgot. In this corner... I have. See if I can get a video of this one. Uh, yeah. Nope. I'm not gonna see him. It's not gonna let you. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, terrible quality. Sorry, guys. But it is a phantom red tail. Um, yeah, they're still kind of skittish and whatnot. But I'll try and get better video of those guys, the Cuban and the Phantom. Let's come up with some names. I have some pretty cool names I'll share with you guys. But uh, yeah, get some names going. See what we can come up with. I was thinking for the Phantom Casper. <laughs> How original, right? My kids like to name them uh, like human names. Like they were thinking about this guy being Kevin and this guy being like Phil. That guy... Jeffrey, and then this guy over here, Big Hoss, I don't know, they're all still, you know, juveniles, babies, but this is going to be their forever home, as the arrows get bigger, you guys know what's going to go down, you already know, the 540. And I got some updates on this. I had a couple of losses in, in this tank. It's extremely unfortunate. There's my black arrow. There's Dyson. Hybrid Tiger Shovel Nose. This Squirt, the Azul Bass, who weighs probably like four pounds by now. But that's it for the stock in this tank. I lost my Hulk and I uh, recently just lost Calicity. Um, sucks you know but 
pot of fish keeping, you lose fish. You try not to let it happen. You do everything in your power to make sure it doesn't happen, and it still happens. It's, it stinks every single time it goes down, but Hulk developed a swim bladder. I did everything in my power to save that fish, and he just uh, could not recover. And Calicity, she developed a swim bladder issue as well. And again, did everything I could to save her. And uh, there was just no saving her. And it's really, really sad because I had those fish for like three years. But nonetheless, the 540 water is just, I mean, look at that. They, you don't even see water in the thing, you know? It's just absolutely crystal, crystal clear. No carbon, I use sea camp origin. I find carbon with uh, big cichlids and arowanas for some reason the carbon causes like lateral line disease and I, they can't prove it but none of my fish had it and I put carbon in this tank a while back ago and they developed it I removed the carbon and it went away so that tells me it was the carbon so that's why I use Purigen because Purigen does not remove um, important minerals in the water and stuff. Uh, carbon, it, you know, it, it'll remove anything in the water column, but Puritan does, you know, the nasty organics and odors and phosphates and all that stuff. It, I believe it doesn't remove nitrites. That would be beautiful, but no, I don't think it does. But boy, does it do a great job in keeping your water crystal clear along with the multitudes of filtration I have on this, and I'm still adding to it just because I like to do it. Anyways, guys, it's nice talking to you. I hope you enjoy it. I mean, that, that, that black arrow is stunning. I, I love that black arrow. It's probably one of my favorite fish next to the new Phantom. But anyways, guys, uh, do me a solid. I've been down and out, and... Like I said, I'm going through some personal stuff with my, with my, my father. Um, you know, like, share, subscribe. And uh, if we can come up with some names for the, uh, the 2 two o, I would uh, I would really appreciate it. So, all right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, uh, you know, peace out.